autofocuser. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. This is about as close I can get for a new, but the. Uh, Um, I just got these in the mail today and I'm going to be using them for my RC6. I'm going to install it right now. Okay, I'm back. I got the correct size and these are four millimeter. I'm going to stick this right in there like so. Just loosen it. Loosen one side only. So, using Bob's knobs. I'll get it to where it's snug and tight like you're changing an oil filter. Again, I'm using a four millimeter. These are Bob's knobs. Just like an oil filter, I wanna snug it in there with a quarter inch turn. All right, looks pretty good, huh? Looks good. God. Cloud cover 75. Holy shit, it's cold. Started autofocus. Do your stuff, buddy. Here's my one meter dish it is the Hannah 2400 to 2483 megahertz. However, the frequency I'm needing is, um, you know, 1420 megahertz. And even though this can go up, it's tuned for that, and I can still select um, the frequency I want. I don't think I'm going to get the 1420 out here because the horn feed needs to be at least 1.97 inches. This is a female F type, in female N type to SMA uh, female, and going into a male SMA out to here. And here I got my high gain ultra noise filter with the wideband preamp and my. HD Air Spy HF, whatever it's called. So, if I wanted to power it on, hit the power here, and then you'll see that light turn on. Off, on. There's no LEDs on the wideband preamp. However, uh, there's bias T. This one, the one I got here is not biased T. Uh, however, it can be powered. And all I gotta do is hit this. And you can see it's on, off, on, off. And I can turn this on, but there's no indication LED that I have it on. But it is on once I start the SDR. Okay. 
That's my microphone. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. All right. Okay. Um, here we are. Well, this is what I got so far. I'm still using Cubic's Cubic SDR. I like it because it runs on Mint. And what I'm going to do, as like I showed you earlier, I'm going to turn it on because it's not here as a local device. So I'm going to hit power on, hit refresh, and there's my AirSpy HF Plus, and I'm going to hit start. And uh, now I'm going to turn on the wideband preamp, and this is what happens. It gets a little bit noisy. And with that next, I'll turn on the uh, the ultra low noise pre filter, and that applies power to that, and it gets really noisy. The only thing I'm missing right now is the bias T. Even though I can add power to the uh, ultra no ultra low noise gain filter here, 1420 megahertz. All it does is it's going to amplify the line from a distance, but I'm waiting on the bias T that's supposed to be coming sometime in the next week. But once I power everything off, turn that off, turn off the low noise gain and the preamp, and the signal seems much clearer, as you can see there. All right, that's all I got, unless you want to hear it. Um, let me see, I was at the... Uh, 1498 uh 2002 I think I was on this one yeah and this is what it sounds like I'm still learning the software. Now that's something right there. Now once I add the uh, preamp power for the wideband, it gets a little bit noisy, but the signal's still there. Now once I add more another power to the LNA part, well, once I add power to the ultra high gain, low noise, <laughs> I, I, I lost my signal. But if I turn that off, um, it, the, the signal is much clearer. So once I get the bias T, I should be able to maintain that signal and not have it over drowned by the uh, powering of the uh, of the ultra low noise preamp filter god that's such a long tongue twister there and that's this is turning off the uh the wideband preamp there's not much of a difference though but you can see a big jump just a slight jump so uh we'll continue uh once i get everything um uh, all hooked up I just need that bias T to come in and that's going to power the LNA, LN and B. Uh, but uh, let's see, I like, uh, I'm going to go to my radio classic here. But you know what, for FM, this does pretty good once I apply power like the preamp. You can see it there. And then if I power the other part. It looks clean, you know? So, I don't think the uh, the horn feed on that uh, HANA wireless dish right there is tuned for 1.4. So, I need to see what I can find out. Do I really need to make a horn feed for that for a 1.4? Because I don't know the length, what's in that HANA dish. 
So it should be like under two inches, slightly under two inches to be tuned for uh, for H1. Okay, so there you go. That's all I got for right now. Thanks for tuning in. Where's the mute button on here?